preparedness and awareness. Do we need to be prepared for climate change? Hello? Have we seen examples where communities of color that may or may not have the resources, uh, you know, suffer from not being prepared? One in five of our children have asthma. Our hospitalization rate due to asthma is 21 times that of other New York City communities. But our state and local officials don't really see that as an epidemic. I am representing a community organization by the name of South Bronx United. Uh, we uh, came together about two years ago, two and a half years ago, um, in opposition to a project that was announced as a done deal to a project that was slated to be something really great for the residents of the South Bronx. Um, far too often we hear about these projects, economic benefits or economic development, but never do they include the really voices of the people in the communities. So when they announced this project as being something good for the community, and then they relied upon an environmental impact statement that's 21 years old to say it's okay to bring a thousand extra structures to, the high, to a community that has some of the highest asset rates in the country, where else would a community be given that type of respect? And we want to bring you some stories from similarly impacted communities so that you understand that this just isn't a New York thing. Superstorm Sandy wasn't just about New York, uh, but these severe weather events are happening in communities all across the country. And that's one thing that we have in common. But we also have in common that some of our communities have different abilities to cope with the advancing climate crisis. And with those different abilities to cope, some of our communities can very easily perish or be in very deep trouble, right? Right here in New York, we saw that when Wall Street had lights, public housing didn't. Environmental justice in my community does look like ensuring that young people have options, ensuring that young people feel empowered One of the major problems uh, that Harlem faces uh, in terms of environmental justice um, has to do, it's, it's not disconnected from the problem of mass incarceration. Uh, the disproportionate stop and frisk that's happening with uh, our people, particularly our young men of color, black and Latino young brothers uh, being arrested and being processed through a criminal justice system where they ultimately wind up at places like Rikers Island. And, and so I said that, you know, the Rikers Island um, is a climate justice issue for us as a community because of alluding to what happened with Katrina in New Orleans. In New Orleans, um, uh, folks that were incarcerated, primarily black and brown people such as myself, um, were left in the prisons to die. Communities are under attack.